Welcome, Writing Daily. This is Devin, where we talk about writing daily, about writing better, writing more, doing all the things that you need to do to become a writer today. And we've been focusing a little bit on uh, the promotional sides of things because that's kind of what I'm doing and that's what I'm learning to be perhaps the most challenging for me, but way more challenging than, than every challenging for everybody else. Uh, uh, Jennifer, good to see you here. Uh, and as always, if you like what I'm doing, please consider hitting the like button or the wow button or asking a question. We're covering all kinds of things. But today I kind of have this weird thing going on. So the weird thing is this. Uh, I have a list of a whole pile of wonderful writers that I want to be on this podcast, right? And I wrote a whole bunch, like I wrote like 35 names of writers, people who I believe need more exposure and have fun and promote their writing, right? Because that's kind of what this is about and where we can interact and, and have these moments together. Marsha, Dana Reen, and Ruth, welcome. And so there's this thing that happens is that when you say, okay, all you have to do is like click this link, we'll make a time and we're gonna do this and won't this be fantastic? And here's what ends up happening is of this list of 35 wonderfully talented writers, I got three responses, three responses, which is fine. I'm totally grateful for that, but I'm always, I have to be honest with you, I'm a little bit surprised by how that is how that's working out, you know. Um, I was just I was just reading a review of a friend's book, and they give it high accolades, and he's got like three reviews on Amazon. So the plus side is he wrote a beautiful book, and I know that he tortured himself by sitting in a room for hours and hours and hours finding just the right way to say a sentence because I I know that I've done it, and then once the book comes out he probably does a little bit, you know, a, a little bit. And, and Dana, Re Dana Reen says, uh, those are pretty good odds, 10%. Uh, it's it's kind of not because these were people who had already said yes to begin with. Like these are people that I, I saw face to face and said, oh yeah, write me, I'm totally in. And I understand that when it's like, okay, now it's time to be on the podcast and talk about yourself, most people, and I'm, I'm, this is true of me as well, kind of go, okay, I'm, I, I don't know, I'm going to delay this as much as possible. Like many of the people that I spoke to will probably eventually come on, but a lot of them are going to like, it's going to, I'm going to go kicking and screaming. I don't want to promote myself. I don't want to put myself out there. It's weird. It's uncomfortable. You're going to ask me questions. And truthfully, most of my questions are going to be like, tell me more about your book. Like I'm going to be wildly enthusiastic and complimentary because I've, I've read the books of the vast majority of the people that I've asked to be on. Uh, so, yeah. So, I mean, we want, as Jennifer says, we, we, we want everybody to follow through and it's hard and it's challenging and I'm not a big fan of it, but it's something that I forced myself to do because I didn't want to spend seven years writing a book only to have like my mother read it. You know, part of what I'm doing right now is the hopes is I'm going to keep doing this. I'm going to keep writing because I have stories to tell, even though it's weird and uncomfortable and I hate promoting myself and I hate being the lone person on this camera right now with my fairly hideous mug. But I did I did shower today, so my hair looks, you know, marginal. So so that's kind of what happened. That's what was happening. But I want to say to just promote this, to give you an idea, uh, a couple of weeks back, I did uh, something called the New Media Summit. It costs money, um, but you were put in a room with a lot of people who do podcasts like this who have large followings, which is pretty great. And that means if I could get on any one of their shows, th uh, I have a new audience of somebody who might be interested in buying my book or reading the material I do or, or, or you know, who knows, maybe they have their own podcast and then you keep putting it out there over and over again. And what I wanted to share with you is that here is just a partial list. Like there's still people that I'm, I'm talking to, but I mean, these are shows that I have upcoming. Uh, and I just did this, I actually did this one just the other day, which is what's your next move? Uh, which was on April 27th. Then I am on mindfulness, mindful 
Fitness Mode, May 2. Evolved Life, May 7. Strong Men Coaching, June 19. Fit for Love, July 11. Command Your Brand. Um, Think Bold, Be Bold. I'm actually doing a Rorschach reading uh, September 9th, which is going to be the kind of the launch of my book. Uh, Dare to be Visible, Intimate Conversations Live, Growth Now Movement, The Spiritual Entrepreneur, The Positive Product productivity podcast living your intentions plus i am uh hashtag unf your mind live uh doing divorce right which is actually jennifer I, I hope she's still on and the rant and then i'm also working out negotiations with people from uh the purpose-driven entrepreneur burn it up coaching inspired conversations and consciously speaking so I'm not telling you all of this to be kind of like a braggart. Oh, 18, oh, welcome. I'm not doing that at all. But what that means is like that's like 20 different shows that I'm going to be on over the next few months that these people are going to allow me to talk a little teeny bit about my book. And we'll talk about other things, too. And we'll talk about writing. And we're going to do all this great stuff. Hello, Lynn. Um, and so we're going to do this stuff that is going to that's going to help promote my cause as a writer and that's ultimately what i want for you guys so it's it's frustrating on the one hand to say no please we want to talk about your writing and then on the other hand realize that most people don't want to take the follow-up step that's necessary in order to create the environment where their book can be the bestseller i think it's it's wonderful to get you know four or five star reviews but it's even better to get like a hundred um, and, you know, I mean, maybe it sounds ridiculous, but that's what we should be doing. And by the way, as always, if you like what's going on here, please make sure that you hit the like button or follow me on Twitter or Facebook or one of those many things that we want you to do. I mean, again, I hate doing it, but you kind of have to keep doing it. So my recommendation is, and I'm going to put the link, I put the link in today's uh, note today. Uh, the thing that I did where I got all of those podcasts with more on the way comes from something called New Media Summit. And so I have a special link that if you want to at least get a hundred, I think it's something like 670 different podcasters around the world all have shows. Uh, if you have even an inkling of selling yourself, promoting yourself as a writer, this might be a pretty good way to start. And so I think basically what you would do is you would sign up for his list. Um, and then you can download this list. And then if you, for some reason, you don't want to take it any further than that, then just unsubscribe immediately. Like, I mean, I'm sure Steve Ulsher would be horrified that I said this, but if you do that, you'll get a list of people that you can reach out to, to help promote your writing or take it to the next level or, or help promote yourself. Again, I'm doing this and saying this right now because I'm in the thick of it. And having to self-promote is counterintuitive to what I believe I am as a writer. But at the same time, it's a necessary thing. Um, I'm never a fan to have to go out and promote myself. As you guys know, it's weird. It's a little bit uncomfortable. I, sometimes I just feel like I'm talking to myself. And what's that about? But that all said, you know, I wrote, I worked really hard on a book. I want you to read it. So the self-promotional part of it, this, this component, is something that is really from my end, regardless of whether it's an enjoyable process or not, it's a mandatory process because I have to make sure, you know, I went into a bookstore the other day. There's 100,000 titles that are written by wonderful, talented people, and I'm competing with them. I'm competing with Stephen King. It's not really like on even footing or anything like that, but we have to kind of go throw it out there. Becca, welcome. Tom, welcome. Oh, Veronica, good to see you as well. Um, so we just have to keep trying and keep putting it out there. So anyway, I'm kind of tipping my hat towards the New Media Summit, and I think it might be something that will be fun for you uh, if that's a direction you want to go. I'm telling you it's worked as just just from me reading that fairly lengthy list of podcasts that I have coming up over the next few months. And I'm going to keep doing that. I'm going to keep reaching out because that's sort of, that's really what the long-term goal is. How do you keep putting yourself out there as a writer? Again, you know, my natural inclination is to sit in a tiny, small, dark room by myself. So that said, 
Uh, I suggest there is a link right here in the description up, whoops, I think it's up that way. We kind of have a reverse screen thing going on here. So it's there. And as always, whether you're watching me live or not, feel free to uh, leave a comment in that little box. And of course, I'm on, uh, now I'm on iTunes and Stitcher. And feel free to leave me a five-star review if you love what I'm doing. And anyway, that's what I got today. Tomorrow, I'm going to come back and I think we're going to talk uh, a little bit more about writing specific things and a little bit about less promotions, but we're going to get back to the promotions. So anyway, thank you so much for joining me today. And I wish you guys all happiness. Oh, hey, Steve. Thanks for being here. And uh, I will talk to you guys again tomorrow with Writing Daily. Thanks so much.